Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Hat in Time Custom Levels. Today we are playing Geothermal by Starshals. The, uh, I think this, yeah, this was made for a um, modding jam on the Hat in Time Discord, where the theme was temperature. A lot of things were themed after hot and cold stuff. The flares were, some outfits were. This is a hot level by the looks of it. Especially considering there's a whole lot of heat waves on the side, I'm guessing, yeah, that's definitely heat. Anything? There's nothing over there. How about over this way? What did I miss from going that way? Nothing. Okay. Uh. Keep out. Okay. Well, we know better than to heed those signs. Um. Is this gonna be a horror game? I don't like the amount of death going on here. Wait, can I... Can I just drop down and say fuck this? Let's just hit the button. Ooh! Okay, it's not a horror game. At least I don't think it is. Boop. Did I equip the metal bat or was that just... I did. Okay. I forgot about that. I also keep forgetting that I'm Hat Kid. I've been making a lot of... I've been doing a lot of uh, mod making with Mustache Girl as the playable character, because I want to make something with her in mind. And, um... I have to relearn Hat Kid. Can I find these? I can. I'm taking the surroundings, because it look like... Oh, okay. I thought for a second maybe I could climb up that. That'd have, been, that'd have been cool. I guess that was just the, uh, the pawn that was there. Okay. Fuck! Fuck indeed. Let's go this way. That is a lot of fire. Well, lava, but fire nonetheless. Lava leads to fire. Hey. Yeah, that'll do. I like these headphones, they're nice. Uh, over here. Well, thank you for that. Did these burn me? Oh no, it's just the Is it the lighting then or the lighting that makes it red or is, yeah, it's the lighting that makes it red. Okay. Thought for a second that maybe it would, like, burn me if I stood on it. Hi. Hello? Yeah. I don't think that works without, uh, without online party on, and I have that turned off. Uh, the sway. Wait. I don't need this, though. Nah, uh, maybe it's just easier. Oh well. It... Okay, yeah, everything is on fire. Please don't die, dude. Oh! Oh, the fish come out of these. Right? It looked like they did, but then again, I saw- I thought I saw something else earlier. Oh, that was another platform. Wait. Not every fish comes out of the out of the lava fountains, but some of them do. Okay. At least the ones I need to worry about do. That's a nice touch. I know where to avoid getting. I know where to avoid standing or jumping, whatever the term is. It's actually very helpful. Thank you. I don't have to guess. So, ha ice hat. Oh, it's not launching me for. Okay. Okay. I see you, game, game. Whoa. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Um. Ooh. A lot of lava that way. Are any of them gonna do that? Does this damage me? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 
Okay. Hi, there's Mafia here. Aside from the ones I'd already murdered, but like... There's Mafia here. Where are they going? Where are they going and what are they doing? I wonder. Anything else? No, just this way? Okay. Oh, that's a lava fall. Okay, and and I can go that way. All right. Cool. It. That was it. Okay. Anything else I can explore? Or no. Okay. Cool. That ends that one. Let's move on to the next. Um. Uh, hope this is the right place, but uh. This is called the 730th Day's Peak. I don't know what that means. I'm in the... I'm in the ship. Was it the planet? Whoa! Whoa! Game! Stop doing that! Boy... What's this? Whoa! Okay! Um... My game doesn't like existing. What's this? Higher beings of control, these words are for you alone. On the day of May 29th, 2013, the Kickstarter of the world was released. After just a day, it was fully funded. After a month, the world w was raised $296,360 from its $30,000 goal. What followed year were years of work going into the world. What followed after that was an, um, another journey. The journey of release. Oh, this is a... Uh... This is a straight up, uh, thank you letter? Is it a thank you letter? Or a. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think this was by Mr. Brawls. They work on the game, I forget. Ah. No, screw you. No, screw you. There we go. Ah. Uh, uh, These are all. This is a blast from my past, isn't it? I can't read. I can't see that. Probably because my quality settings are too low. Ugh. Oh boy, that's a far swing. Oh boy, that's a far swing. So we go up here. I keep wanting to bomb jump. It's not quite the correct course of action. Where do I go? I guess not this way. What? Hello, flat person. Why are you in a 2D space? Why are you 2D? Also, how the hell do I get up? Or do I? Maybe I don't need to get up. Maybe I do need to get up. I don't know. It looks like I'm supposed to get up, but it, there's nothing to get up with. Oh, there's a swing. F I can't see that. It blends in with the background. This little thing. It blends in with the dark. Look. From a distance, kind of look at it. Look at it from that. Yeah, can you see that? You can probably see it now that I pointed it out, but like, I'm gonna look away. And look back at it. Would you see it immediately? Probably. Maybe your eyesight's better than mine. I don't know. This is like a museum of sorts. Okay. So here. Higher beings of control, these words are for you alone. After the day of release, what followed a few days later was the introduction to mod support on October 10th, 2017. This is when the first mod was released. When everyone got their hands on it during the beta of the wor world tools, the boundless creativity was in the community's hands, and many, many worlds and dies were made during the journey of release. Hats, too, were... there were many of those as well. Yeah, there were definitely hats, and dies, and levels, some of which I've... I've made. There's also stickers. Okay, I need to stop thinking in terms of Mustache Girl, because holy shit, I'm not having a good time here. 
<sighs> Is that not where I'm supposed to- do I gotta jump on this and then jump on that? Yes, I do. Okay. It- it looked like I wasn't supposed to do that. Someone managed to get up there. Eh, bird no. Bird no. I'll just go over this way. Eh. Is that a science owl? That's a stuffed science owl. Okay, I thought that was a real one. Oh my god, penguin, why? Whoa. Okay. Nope. Taking this ball with me. Hang on. Can I jump with it? No, I can't! Ugh! I thought I could. I was gonna take it with me and go places, but uh, I, I guess the game didn't want that. That's fine. Now I know that it won't let me pick up things. It's that way. It is rather neat so far. Uh, what? Fuck you! Where do I go? Oh, this way. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that direction. I thought that was a throne. Any extra goodies? Any extra stuff that I may have missed? Nope. Okay. Let's go. Into the next area! Subcon forest? Subcon forest. Fool! I like it. Oh, I gotta kill that thing anyway. Higher beings have controlled these woods for you alone. Two months later, on December 7th, 2017, the main world would find release in the land of Xbox and PlayStation. This, in and of itself, was a great achievement due to the main world's engine not being fully compatible for those lands. This fueled the fire, making the world go to wider audiences, making the copies sold of, of the world go up to 250,000 on March 19th, 2018. Earlier, the world tools were released out of beta on March 13th, 2018, and a purple time rift creation contest was held. More on that later. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah! Okay. We're good? We're good. Okay. For a second, I thought I may have screwed myself up. There's not gonna be any of those statues that chase me, is there? What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Why, thank you. you know, I haven't seen a good solid neck like yours for a long time. And the noose has stopped talking to me. Around a cute neck like yours. Ah, stop it! It's disgusting. What? What? Why? Whoa. Thought I was still on the platform when I jumped, but I guess not. Uh, back up this way. I don't like the nooses to talk to me. Not only are they creepy, I think they've got some kind of creepy thing. Fucking goddammit. Okay, so platforming sucks. <laughs> I miss playing as Mustache Girl. Maybe I should just do that. Come on. Over here. Over here, buddy. Over here, buddy. There we go. And again, playing as Mustache Girl would be impossible with this, because it's not made with her in mind. Okay, so... Yeah. To the cre- Oh, thank God they're not talking. Never mind. Uh. There we go. Almost fucked that up. Doesn't snatch her in another direction. Or is he just there for decoration? 
Oh, there's Snatcher. Yeah, he's just... Did I come from that way? Oh, I did. Okay. That's fine. Next stage, Alpine! Alpine Skyline? I want to say Skyline, but I could be horribly wrong and it's... Cliffside or something. It's Skyline. Pretty sure it's Skyline. Where's the set? Where's the thing? Where's the thingy? Where's the thingy that says, hey, for those in higher power or whatever? Where is it? Does this one not have one? Why? Every other one had one. I get I'm not one of those people, but like, I want to see what you said. I'm sure if they're watch- oh, here we go. If they're watching this for some reason, they'd also want to be- they'd also want to see the heartwarming thanks you gave them. I have beings of control, these words are for you alone. Many months later, on July 27, 2018, copies of the world sold have went up to 500,000. A major achievement for such a world like this one. Later, an announcement was brought up that would show details on August 20th about the future. That announcement would expand the world for the first time on a major magnitude. The first DLC? I would later release on September 13th, 2018. You can say it was pretty... chilly. Heh. <laughs> it was the DLC. It was also plan announced that the world would be released onto the land of the Switch, despite all odds. And people saying no, it would not happen. Do I need to go somewhere first? Just look, I, I'm, I think I maybe I need a horn. A horn tootin'. Or I could find a... A swing point. Yeah, that, that's a thing. Where I need to go isn't super obvious. And I'm a little bothered by that. But I'm figuring it out as I go, so... That's fine. What's here? Just these guys. Okay. I guess this is an homage to the lava cake. Nice touches. Still kind of wish it was a little more obvious where I needed to go. But then again, I'm not real. I'm not really the person this is intended for, is it? Can you let me up, please? It, it let me up, it now it won't let- okay. I think you made it a little too tall. I mean, yeah, I could just do whatever I did there. But, uh, some things are blending in, some things aren't blending in, and some things are kind of working in a weird way. And, huh. What? Oh. How was I supposed to know about that? Whoa! Okay. Oakley dokley. Uh, a little further up. Which A R O further. Okay. And this is gonna be more of Alpine Skyline, or is it gonna be more is it gonna switch to what? Rip Mustache Girl Castle 2017, 2017. Died from being ran by a peck neck and beat up by a little kid. Oh, did we not get it? Did we not get this part? Aw. That's sad. I wanted to see it. That would mean the next is... The ship? The cruise ship? I guess it's the cruise ship next. Yep. Eh. Pizza time, everybody. Higher beings of control, these words for you alone. The first expansion began, bringing forth a ship that thought to be unsinkable, which shamefully broke apart. It was also it also awakened the kid with a bow. The Phantom Contractor had also also had plenty of work to do with the kid in the hat. Triumph, triumphing over the weak and being beaten by the strong. Later. On December 21st, 2018, the world had achieved one million copies sold across all the lands. This was quite an exciting time for 
thinking about the future of this world. However, this was not the end for expansion. The second expansion was on the way, and it was announced on April 25th, 2019. Miyakuza Metro. Also, an online party was announced. And released. That was fun. Beat the shit out of your friends while they try to play as... Play one of the hard levels. I don't remember this platform. Certainly don't remember it having a diving board. Ah, giant seals. Oh god, they're tiny. Oh god, that's tiny. Uh, why you gotta make it hard? Uh. Oh. Yeah. Does this mean this fits with the theme of uh, temperature? Because there's a there's a cold part. It's not really a hot. Well, there's some hot parts, but there's also mostly a big cold section. Eh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, how was I supposed to know I was supposed to go there? I mean, if I look around, yeah, I'll find it, but, like, I wouldn't have known this is not the direction I'm going. Hi, beings of control. Uh, earlier, the, before the first expansion, the results of the Purple Time Rift Creation Contest were shown, starting from May 30th to June 1st, 2018. There are many great rifts coming from the contest, but three remained and got into the main world. Oh, yeah, they were ported to the, to the main game, yeah. Individuals were named Flame LFH, Jack, and Mr. Brawls, and they were placed in third, second, and first, respectively. The next three islands are attributed to these rifts. Okay. Cool. Boop. This is a long thing. Maybe that's why my memory spiked. Huh? Isn't it going to be a little weird, though, because I think one of the rifts is an homage to Hat Kid's Adventure, and this is also homage in homage to Hat Kid's Adventure. Oop. Huh. Is that a balloon? Okay. I wouldn't have known, because it doesn't look like a balloon, but I don't know if it functions like one or not. <laughs> I have to assume, and I don't... Oh, wait. I have to assume, and you know what they say about assuming. If you've played it enough, you probably know. But it might be alright. Now we're the doing the Metro. Uh, uh, oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. Oof. On May 10th, 2019, the second expansion released onto the world. It introduced another layer of the world to the world. Underground and modern cat trains. Also stickers. It was this expansion that took advantage of Steam to provide up to 50 kids to play together. Through a force called the Internet. It was at this point the future's looking bright for the world. This is also the time when this sticker came to being. Oh, it's not showing yeah, there we go. You're welcome, by the way. No one needed it. No one probably even wanted it. Actually, that's incorrect. Like, a thousand people wanted that. Hello, kittens. Oh, I thought you had sunglasses for a second. I don't have to fight Nyakaza cats, do I? Doesn't look it. Doesn't look it. Rather nice recreate. Rather, rather nice little section of Nyakaza Metro. Do we get food? Can we get the food? We don't get food here? Shit! What do you mean we don't get food? I wanted the food. Food's the best part of Nyakaza Metro. It... what? No! Oh! I gotta time it. How often does the train go? I guess I'll just wait for it to start moving. There 
we go. Yeah, the food thing is the best part in Yakuza Metro. I'm only slightly bummed that that wasn't included. I gotta wait for that as well. That's not as long. It's not super long. Food is pretty good, my dude. <laughs> wait, what? This was in the game the whole time and I never noticed. <laughs> I ended up went a dream cruise vacation. The food's pretty good, my dude. Says the food. I didn't think the food could review itself. Egg? No egg. Okay. Wait, how do I... Oh, I don't have to jump off. I just did because I, I thought I had to jump off. My mistake. Instead, I gotta jump off at this point. Okay. Wait for that to come across again. Is that a really short train? That's a rather long train. Okay. What? Why is it over there? It's a really weird spot. Here. Uh. Okay. Still a weird spot, but like. Oh, fuck. I misjudged the ending of that one. Huh? Okay. Whoa. Roomby Factory. What? Roomby Greenlit. Earlier, before the second expansion, there was another modding event, but unlike the first, pre first expansions. Popper Riff Creation Contest, this event was a curation gathering. More than a handful of mods made it in, such as the wireframe costume by Don, the flower crown by Cambot, and the retro badges by Zara. Just to name a few. There were also plenty of purple time riffs that were made for the event, but only one made it in. The riff was called Roomby's Fun Factory, which was renamed to Roomby Factory for the second expansion. This rift was a group effort by Daniel CNR, Worthy 100, and Khan Romy. And it introduced a lot of new things like conveyor belts, explosive Roombies, and a new storybook for Roomby themselves. Needless to say, this was an impressive rip, fitting for an expansion in it as impressive as the second one. Just stop exploding. I just want to get over here. Ah, whoa, door! Hello, Snatcher? Hello, kid! Did you see me back there? Of course you did! I'm glad you can make it here. What is here, you might ask? Look for yourself! This is what some people call a switch tablet. And it's our ticket to go portable. Once you collect that timepiece over there, it will start transferring us to the switch. Do you think some things are missing, like controllers? Eh, I guess that drifted out of my mind. You know what I mean. Anyway... Did you know that it's been two years since you fell down into our planet? <laughs> oh, the old memory lane bringing back those memories way back, huh? Oh, don't give me that look. I know you enjoyed it. My minions are the, were the best at constructing this up for you, and totally not because I've been looking for this for eons. What about those rectangle stones throughout this place? Ah, those were not made by my minions, in fact. I don't know where they even came from. There's also that piece of paper near the timepiece over there. I can't seem to read it because it's just filled with gibberish. Anyway, again, see you on the other side, kiddo. Piece of paper by the time right? Oh, this one. What? Player found localization in note. My note is the. Seems like it's just jumbled letters. Lame. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Player found localization int note. I know it is there for you, player. Localization note. Wait. Am I gonna have to go digging? Dude, I don't know where to find that shit. Local files, right? Localization. Wait. Where did it say? 
Localization int note. There is no note int. I'm I'm trying to find it. I don't know where it's where it's going. It's not in the main game file, so I gotta find it in the mod f mod pack files, and that's a whole lot of digging that I gotta do. So, hang on a minute. Be right back. Okay, we found it. Hello, player. I'm Mr. Brawls, maker of this level and 24 other submissions for a hat in time. I wanted to extend my greatest thank you to you. Whoever you are reading this, whenever you whenever you are a player, someone involved with Gears for whether you are a player, someone involved with Gears for Breakfast, a modder like me, or a viewer, whoever you are, if you've been entertained by any of my mods, you are the reason I make mods in the first place. I wanted to, I always wanted to entertain way bef, way back before I had in times launch, but I have always been an introvert or lurker online, and don't and don't be deeply involved with any of online communities. Not always deeply. And don't want to be deeply involved in the okay. Once I played this game and I heard that it would include modding support, I had to get into modding. For the first time, I jumped knee deep into a fandom, and I've been enjoying the ride ever since. You could say a hat in time changed my life for the better. For many reasons, I don't want to list because there's a lot. It was to the point that my name got in the credits, which I did not intend to do when I started. But hey, miracles happen, and I'm beyond belief where I am today. I'm forever thankful for all of the friends I made I met in this community, all of the modders that helped me back in the modding tools beta, and to even today. Shit. Hang on. Fucking why do I why does Steam do this? Whatever. It's fine. Where where was I? Today and the opportunities I got thanks to being in this community. Two years in this community flew by so quick. And seeing this game grow to what it is today makes me so emotional. Looking at the history for this game made me almost teary-eyed because I was there from the beginning at launch. I also regret not backing this game on Kickstarter, but what can you do? Not dread on the past, that is. I couldn't donate either because Kickstarter hates my bank, so you're not alone there. I'll proudly follow this community wherever it goes next, whenever, if, big if, the game gets more DLC, if Gears for Breakfast even ever makes another game, or if some huge thing happens with the game. I'll be there with them along with uh, with everyone else. Not enough words past this can express how thankful I am for everyone involved with A Hat in Time. The players, artists, modders, musicians, gift for breakfast themselves, and it goes on and on. When I saw my purple time ref level in the Seal the Deal trailer, I knew I had to keep going to repay this community. I owed it a lot to where I am today. I felt like I, I really did. I feel like I did it. For the tenth time. Seriously, though, I can't thank you for guys enough. Did it? Did did what? Did 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 what? Did what brawls? Do I do, did my gutter mind go in the right direction for once? Please say no, because holy shit, that that'd be weird. Seriously, though, I can't thank you guys enough. But this mod in particular makes me feel like I paid my debt. Which is, this has been the proudest I've felt completing a level and very confident in myself for completing this mod. Doesn't mean I'm not done yet. This reason, the season of mods isn't over and it'll be done whenever I'm ready to go out with a bang and I intend, and I attend to my last mod, if it ever comes to it, to be the magnum opus to my Hat in Time modding experience. Before I stop again, thank you all for playing or watching someone play this. Special thanks to all of you and all of Gears for Breakfast. Hope you guys enjoy the next mods and until the next note.ini, maybe. Devin, Mr. Brawls, Miller. P.S. A day after I released the mod, I forgot to add a Roomby Factory part, so I started working on a patch, which is in right now, to get in a representation of Roomby Factory, so if Dan, Wordy, or Ken Romy are reading this, I'm super sorry. I'll, I'm sure they're f they forgive you. Anyway, back to the game. Okay. We're back. Good. That was actually really, really cool. That was cool. I liked it. I hope Gears for Breakfast played that and read all of that, because they need to see that. And if you're from Gears for Breakfast, then you also got to see all of it, so... Yeah. This has actually really been a great game. And I'm glad I actually got into the modding community, too. 
The people are so nice. It's so wholesome and good. Also, they're fucking amazing. On the like is this thing. And this thing over here. Okay, the hat thing isn't working super great, but like, fuck. Playable character mods. Awesome. Level mods. Fucking even more cool. The soundtrack. Holy shit. I'm tripping. This is a really active modding community, a really amazing community in general. And this is just some of the mods I've played or covered. Some of them I haven't even touched yet. Some of them are mine. Okay, a couple of them are mine. Like, it's missing a couple. A couple of mine, anyway. Where is mine? I guess it's not cooked, so it's not gonna show up. Oh well. There's even more featured stuff. This one! I got to voice act in this one! Looking great, yo! Any others make it in? McDream Paradise, I remember that one. Metro Rift, I played that one for... Rerail was nice. Farewell, I don't remember beating. I did not play Nyaka's Adrift yet. I need to do that. One day one of mine will be unfeatured, I'm sure. Maybe. I hope. I just gotta actually put in elbow grease. Anyway, oh. Game lag, stop it. I think that about does it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch and Patreon. And if you'd like to, you can also support me down in the description below, either on Patreon or Twitch with a Twitch sub. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!